What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Spin Tires Mud Runner, and uh, we have a Tesla Cybertruck, and as you can tell, it's a monster lifted. It's absolutely insane <laughs> and pretty, pretty stupid, if you ask me. Uh, don't mind the engine sounds that you guys are going to hear because, uh, well, actually, no, I have my engine sound or my volume off so you don't have to hear hear a Cummins motor instead of nothing I guess well I guess technically right now it's it's proper other than the fact you don't hear the uh, the game <laughs> but yes I built a I built a Tesla truck I got bored I couldn't sleep and I was like you know what a Tesla truck I already had the suspension built I already built these rims I was like, whatever, let's do it. Let's throw a Tesla trucking game and uh, see what happens. Hopefully OBS is recording it all uh, decently. Hopefully. If not, well, I'm probably still going to upload it because Tesla truck. This is like literally my first test of it in game as well. Uh, I am going planning to release this because honestly I'm not going to drive it much. Probably going to add the uh, headlight flares, the taillight flares, and uh, yeah, that's probably it. And then I'm going to release it and be like, alright, here you go. I'm sure TC will immediately do a video on it. <laughs> yeah. But like, uh, you know, I mean, it's a Tesla truck, so we we might as well, right? Just, just release it for people. I know there's one in BeamNG. I know there's one in... Uh, uh, what is it, GTA as well, but, like, I've got one in Mudrunner now. <laughs> We've got Tesla trucks everywhere, and, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do another version of this or two, you know, maybe one that's, like, actually stock, you know, just to, just to kind of see what happens with it, uh, maybe a SEMA build of it, and, you know, maybe a crawler, like an actual crawler, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Or I might just stick it with the the Mega one here and just be like, alright, we're good to go then. This, is, this alone is, is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, indeed. I mean, it's stupid, but it's, it's pretty cool all the same. It does have uh, somewhat of an interior. I need to fix my, my glass texture. I kind of have it a little fucked up at the moment. But it's got to... Gotta, little 8-bit interior to match the 8-bit vehicle and I really didn't care to even skin the steering wheel on this like for what purpose who's driving this on the interior view like who's driving an interior uh, there is actually a back plate there but I have that along with the glass so I'll have to uh, like I I'm just gonna darken the glass I'm gonna make it actual like tint for you guys to where it looks like the uh, it looks more like it, like the actual one, because it's, it's decently modeled so far, honestly. Like, I did a decent job modeling it into the Tesla Cybertruck. Crazy little thing. I mean, let's see this thing go up against an F F-150. Now, now it'll really be unfair. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I'm running into trees. I like this thing though like I mean honestly I don't really like the Tesla Cybertruck the look of it just because it's like it it, it it's so blocky it looks like it, it belongs in Roblox or something like I feel like we're all being trolled by Elon Musk with this like I, I really feel like the Tesla Cybertruck is a troll like it's just like yeah we uh sure sure we made a truck like, I, I don't know, I was expecting, like, as far as a Tesla truck goes, I was expecting something more like a, the Tesla car, uh, but, you know, like, obviously in truck form with a bed. Uh, it, th this is almost like an 8-bit Prius with a bed. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, it reminds me of a Prius. Like, just in the basic body lines, it's just like... The 8 bit Prius. The Roblox Prius. <laughs> like, no offense to Elon Musk or anything. I'm sure he loves his little vehicle, but yeah. I don't know. It's just not. 
It's just not a thing. It's just, like, don't get me wrong, I miss the old box vehicle, you know, like box muscle cars and shit, but box muscle car is not, not like an 8-bit truck, you know, like square body Chevy, yeah, not an 8-bit truck. <laughs> Sorry, Elon Musk, if you're you're for some reason watching my video. <laughs> And uh, it's taking a second to spawn me over here at the other place, so that's always nice. <laughs> Don't crash on me, mud runner. Alright, the game didn't crash on us. I wanted to come over here to the mud pit so you guys can watch it uh, slang some mud. Yee! Oh, oh god. Went a little sideways there. Yeah, she can slang some mud, man. Yeah, yeah. Yee yee bubble. I guess it's also a good thing to mention, or a fun fact to mention, that uh, this is CDT axled, which, you know, if you guys know, uh, or if you guys have been around for a while, you guys know that CDT axles, they are actually collidable. You can run into things with your axles, and as well, I'm able to do like air ride and stuff. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody's in the comment, gonna be in the comments right now, just being like, Oh my god, why did you do that when you were showing off the air ride? Somebody's probably gonna be like that in the comments. Oh well. <laughs> Squat Nation, bubba. Oh, okay. Squat Nation leads to not moving in the mud, apparently. That's funny. Oh, and I should mention that the tires on this are made by my good friend the B Gamer BB. Um, and I'm just sliding in the mud for some re weird reason right now. That's weird, right? This is definitely a little weird. All right, there we go. We got some tractions in this mud here. Yee yee, Bubba. Come on. Yeah, I think this is just the deep part of the mud, but yeah. We got a little little mud truck, man. Slant kicking up mud in my four wheel drive. I'm trying to take a screenshot. So I don't have steam open at the moment. Oh god, don't drive into the dock. And I'm breaking my phone loose. Or not breaking my phone loose, but making my phone come unplugged. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now for me, guys. And I did not sleep at all last night, so <laughs> don't judge me too harshly on that one. And I mean, yeah, I have like a transmission just kind of floating there. Um, don't worry about... I, I don't... Like, logistically, what would you do? Just mount your battery lower to, like, keep your transmit, you know, like, your drive shafts from not being too far? I don't know. I don't know anything about electric cars. So, you know, it's, yeah. Oh, God. That'll happen. <laughs> That's the only thing about raising this thing to its max height it can go, is the fact that uh, it gets very top-heavy very quickly at that point. I usually don't actually raise my suspension. Like, I'll usually lower it if I want to take, like, a picture or something. Or, you know, just to, just to be one of them cool guys, right? Raise a tiny bit. Pull the back end up more. Yee yee bubba. Let's get it. Yee haw. Oh, we're spinning in the mud. See, I still have a little bit of work to do to this to get it get a little little better. A little better before I release it. But this is definitely a badass little truck. I hope you guys uh definitely enjoy it. <laughs> Go tweet Elon Musk and tell him, hey, somebody somebody put a lift kit on your Tesla truck and off-roaded it like a madman. <laughs> I think he'll get a good kick out of that. Just don't tell him I come and swapped it, or he'll be mad, probably, because, you know, 
how's it how's it a Tesla if it's got a Cummins in it, right? Maybe I should just remove my motor sounds and just let it be what it is. Oh, that's straight in the water. So that's a good place to end this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little preview of the uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Sorry if there was any lag during the video. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.